Welcome back, everybody. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to get rid of all this snow. I would have to put some kind of cover up here. Oh, well. Maybe I'll just have to live with it. So I did a little bit of uh, landscaping in between episodes. I think I showed you that before. But this, I've cleared out all this area here and leveled it off. So we have this tier level here, and it kind of goes all the way around here. And then I've almost filled in all this. I've still got this little bit to fill and then work on that part. Everything's going to be at that level through here. That level going all the way over, probably back through here. This wall is going to go kind of curve, kind of, kind of curve like that. And we'll have a path going over and we'll meet with that little mound over there and this whole area low land will be these two levels so I'll have this lower level and then I'll bring another curve of this higher level there so I'll have a low tier and a high tier and a higher tier and high high tier and then way way over there um, oh yeah you can see I still got uh, trees that have not despawned or leaves but on the other side of those leaves is where the valley is going to go for the river continuation so once I get over this place I'm going to need to make some new tiers and I've got this lower valley in between which I'll have to put things in but it's slowly making its uh, getting shape or making its making its way into the final shape it's going to be um, quite big I have a lone, the lone wolf. Lone wolf stalks the land. And then up here, I've got one little bump out here because I wasn't sure what to do with it. I didn't feel like, you know, culling this all the way back here. So you have this gigantic wall, so I want to kind of break it up. So I've got that, and then you go up. I really need to put stairs here. You end up with this nice big area here. And it actually wraps all the way around and meets up, like I said, with the police station over here. So, so this kind of now connects everything. And I need to fill in some of this. And then, like I said, there's going to be a, a tower bridge right there, which will take us into that land over there where you can actually see all the icebergs. I'm going to put another like a security tower here and a security tower right over there and maybe a wizard's tower here and there I haven't built a wizard's tower for a little while those are always nice to build and the wizard's guild is surely over in this area because why would it not be but for today, what are we going to do today? Well, today we are going to build right here and we are going to put in a uh, sugar cane, not sugar cane, what's that? No, bamboo, a bamboo farm. We did the sugar cane last time. So this is the sugar cane farm. So we got the sugar cane farm here. Oh, and I fixed my redstone thingamajigger. I just had to uh, fix the line so the uh, repeater was not directly behind the piston. So I kind of had to, you know, I had the line with the repeater there and the piston would be like there. I had to kind of jump out this way and come in and hit redstone there and then redstone there. So it really wasn't that hard to fix. I figured it out. So look at that. What, uh, 89, 88? Look at my math. 64 and 24 is 88. So here, so I need to remember that trick for those guys. So I want to, so I've got this, this would be one, 
two, three, at least three or four. So I need to put in at least four, I think. I'm just trying to figure out enough spacing between these so I don't interfere with each other. So like this will be a lot of like dead space right here. Let's put a light there. So let's see if I put the farm and it doesn't need to be as wide as that other one. So yeah, so if I do the door right here, like that. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know, I, that's kind of plain, but I think I think it'll be okay. Like that, and then um, there we go. I mean, not much to this. I'll do this and I can drop a couple lights some chains on it. And then we just need to dig this back now. So this will go back. I'm going to open a big space up there. I probably should go up and just finish the rest of this wall. So let me uh, dig this out. I'm going to have to get this out a lot higher because I want the sugar cane. Sugar, I keep saying sugar cane. I want the bamboo to grow as high as it can. So I'll need to go way up here because it can grow pretty tall. So I might as well take advantage of the height. Sugar cane just grows three, so I didn't have to worry about it too much. But for bamboo, I do. And then I'll have to figure out how far I can go because I don't want to interfere with the sugar cane farm over on this side. So I've cleared out this area and put in the walls. I made it as high as I could go. Couldn't go too much higher because I've got stairs there. But I figured the sugar cane will grow way, and not sugar cane, the bamboo is going to grow way up there. So we're going to get a lot with the harvest. And it is uh, the same style design I have for the sugar cane. These are going to be pistons, and then we'll have the redstone running behind it. Oh, I can go show you the fix I did for my repeaters that weren't working. So I used to have a repeater here, and repeaters don't kick uh, the juice out sideways. So what I did is just diverted the signal, because I need the repeater to keep pushing the signal out that way. And I figured the quickest and easiest way is I'll put this block here. This blocks the redstone signal from going across. So you go through here, kind of just loops back, pushes against the back of the piston and sets it off. So, so now all the pistons go off. And uh, you don't have a feedback loop because you've got to be careful not to power this line because you'll end up with an infinite loop of energy powering itself. So that's simple. You probably knew that. I'm sure someone, uh, I'm sure you all <laughs> knew that fix before I did, but it, I, I'm not the, uh, let's just say redstone is not my forte. So like I said, I'm going to put uh, dirt here, pistons here, the redstone behind it. I'll have to do a similar little loop to power them all. And then I need to finish the front. So out here, I think I'm going to, this is going to be mainly, if I don't do wall all the way up now, uh, the, let's put door, I've got a door, door here. So if I don't put dirt, or not dirt, if I don't put a, either wall or solid blocks all the way up, I'm going to get these uh, bamboo caught on the wall. So what I want to do, so I'm just going to do the stone brick through here. And I already have this copper thing going on, so I think I'll just continue that up here through the middle. I 
like that. There. And then we're going to just granite this up. It is a quite flat, which is not the best. So I think what I'll do is on the outside kind of unflatten it once I get out there on the on the outside. Probably put uh, like fences and maybe some uh, trap doors and stuff. Maybe even a couple planters. Boy, it's dark on here, isn't it? Maybe even a, pl a couple planters with uh, bamboo in it. That might look pretty nice. And then I can, I'm going to do this. And I do have chain and lanterns. And I think the glow, these glow shrooms or whatever they are, I think that will be fine there. Uh, did I bring dirt? Oh, I forgot to bring all this. Look at all this stuff I have, and I don't have any dirt. But just gonna think. I'm gonna do. Kind of keep with this theme of this warped look to it. That's gonna push back there. I want to do this, and. I do that yeah it's gonna have redstone on top of there just trying to think of where the door I want an access door here oops I'm on the wrong side access door here yeah I think though when I do the redstone it's gonna flop that door open oh well, maybe not I think it'll be okay I guess we'll just do the same thing over here. That actually doesn't look too bad. And I thought about going with like a plain floor, but I think mixing the blocks up give it a make it look a lot nicer because. So there we go, got our floor. I think the spruce and the warped blocks go well. And we got our dirt in here, so the bamboo goes in there. Pistons go up here, so I'll always have one little bamboo left. So through here, just gonna randomly put like chests and barrels through here, put a crafting table there, put a smoker and a couple fireplaces here. I guess they're furnaces, not fireplaces. Smoker, a couple more there, maybe another barrel. And then I'm doing some, doing the mossy in here because I really want green. I don't have any green concrete, but I think this will nice, kind of bring out the organic look to it. So I've got this nice long, you know, work area in between the two. So you're going to run back and forth here, pick up all the sugar cane, and it's going to go in one of these chests or something, or you'll do something with it. This is not going to be automated, so it's not going to collect a lot. You're just going to, you know, whenever I need... Uh, sugar cane, oh, sugar. I keep saying sugar cane, gosh dang. 
Whenever I need bamboo, I am going to run in here and just collect it. So there'll be a, I'll just have push a button like, uh, and I'm not even going to connect it to one button. I'm going to use a button on either side. I'm, I can push two buttons to collect stuff. And then all of these go through like this. I need to make a lot more. So that was 32. So I need at least 32. So I probably need 64. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, so 32 and 18 is what I need. Oh, well, to add those up, uh, 32 and 18 is uh, 40, 50, 60, 70. 30, yeah, 30, 40, 50. I can do math. Trust me, I can do math. Where's my iron? So, made up my pistons. Look at that, perfect. My math was correct. So we have those. This is not going to work because you can't grow bamboo through a button. So that's what I was afraid of. Urgh. Yeah, see, that'll be fine, but that doesn't look well. Why don't we do this? We're just going to get rid of. We'll get rid of this section here and we'll leave the, oops, where'd the button go? There we go. Where's my bricks? Do I have, no, I don't have any bricks. Okay, that's good. Well, that would work. I can do it up higher too. I was afraid the door would go off. I don't want the door to go off. I just want it to go back and charge yeah, this little piece of redstone right there. And then the rest of the redstone should go out like that. Okay, so yeah, so I'll just have to... Oh, dang it. Hmm, I'll have to figure this one out because I don't want. Oh, I wonder if that would work. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, I got to use a little extra redstone, but I don't, I want it round because I don't want it to open and close that door all the time because it's just annoying. So we'll just run the redstone all through here. I'll just have to go through and find out where the signal doesn't go and then add my little loop around with a repeater so I'll keep, uh, I can power everything with one little redstone. Do the same thing over on this side. And I, th oh, I'm gonna need to come here and do this. Cause I'm gonna need to do like that. And then I can just run through here. It helps having done this uh, previously, because any thinking, although it's not, it's it's zero complexity on the uh, on what needs to be done. You've seen me have a little bit of uh, redstone challenges in the past, so but it goes almost all almost all the way. So that's not bad. And then the only thing I have to do is. Uh, not there, but do the bamboo planting through here. And then that should be a fully functional bamboo farm. I won't have to just keep sticking it out in a field someplace and harvesting it as I need it. Because bamboo is very ha handy. You can get uh, sticks out of it or use it for decorations around or do scaffolding. So I use all those things. So I guess uh, let me go get some more redstone to finish that up, do my little repeater things, and then we can take a look and see uh, 
see what we're going to do when we're done. These breakdancing sheep need to get them some music. Do, 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 do. Ooh, it looks dark down here. Yeah, this looks really... Oh, I forgot to patch up that. Oops, that's not the right one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this looks really dark down here. Why is it so dark? Man, I've got extra scaffolding. I guess I'm not done working over here. I guess it's the docks. Docks are always shady. It's, you know, go down the docks at night to do... Uh, your illegal uh, smuggling and stuff. I'm going to just do a little bit of work on the front. Now we've got the inside done. So here, let's do that there. Let's go. A few of these. I just wanted to, oh, not jump off. Just gonna put there. Just trying to break up that flatness. It's so flat on the front there. And then I figured a couple of flower boxes would be nice. Put a couple of those in there. Oh, I need some. I need some sugar cane. Sugar. I said sugar cane. I didn't. It is not sugar cane. It is bamboo. So that's what I'm looking at. It's going to grow way up there, and then, wow. I should actually wait until it's all, you know, completely grown and see how much I get. Now this is not growing over here and I suspect it's because it's too dark. So that got me what, almost four stacks just off that partial one. That's pretty good. Pretty good if I say so. Bamboo grows so quickly. Let me go get a couple lights. Or well, I got I've got lanterns why don't I do the lantern maybe across the back here I'm just do like this and then I hang lantern there and lantern there yeah I suspect it's too dark because every time I come in here nothing is growing and I bet it's because it's so dark back here because it has to be above a certain light level before anything grows just like in real life. Yeah, and that's not too bad. That kind of looks like it needs to be there. And actually, since I'm doing stuff like this. There. There, that looks better. That was a little bit too flat as it was. So back to the front. Here, that's gonna stick like one there and one there. It'll only grow up. This one will grow. Ooh, that one's gonna grow too tall. I don't want it to grow up all the way up there. Let's do this. Let's pretend I meant to uh, do this. Of course. Get carried away and you get in trouble. So that should prevent this one from growing too tall. Grab that. Now I am done. I think the only thing I need to do is put a lantern, a lantern hanging from there. I'm gonna need to go get some more food. Oh, I got like four chickens left. 
I need to charge up my uh, tools too because I got like three or four picks that are down to nothing because I used them up when I was digging out this thing. So this in the last place. So maybe I'll run back to uh, spawn, recharge everything, and get some more food because I got a bunch of food there. Okay, I think that looks good. And then in here, maybe I'm going, I'm going to wait. We're going to do one quick little wait until everything is filled up. And then we'll at least see how many, uh, how many bamboo we get out of there. Well, that looks like it's about as far up as it's going to grow. I've been here for a while. Actually, I planted myself here and then I went off and got dinner and a bunch of stuff. And this is as high as anything grew, which... At least some of them are getting to the top. I didn't expect all of them because they stop, I think, at a random age. The only, you know, as soon as they gr start growing, they pick a number, and that's only as high as they're going to get. So. so then you can harvest it that way, harvest it that way, and we will see how many of these we're going to get. That's quite a few already. Wow really does not take much to get a bamboo. Bamboo is almost overpowered because you can use it for fuel. You can use it for sticks. You can use it for, well, in the new version, you make blocks and stuff out of it. Look at all that bamboo you get just by one harvest. And that's just, uh, I was just hanging around here. It wasn't even that long. I mean, 30 minutes maybe I guess I went I just you know I went to went to get lunch or dinner so hmm anyhow that finishes things up for today I think I'm gonna have to go back and recharge my pickaxe and stuff so that means I'm gonna need to go uh, through the nether back to spawn because I've got my spawner there so that will Maybe this is a good time for me to dig this tunnel out. So maybe the next episode I'll dig this tunnel out. And then we'll go work on the nether. Or actually I go to spawn. Recharge stuff. And I think I still need to do the nether uh, tunnel to spawn. So we may do that in the one after this one. So it may be two tunnels in a row. One, one here and one in the nether. So have a great day everybody. I will see you later. Oh, I'm being attacked. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.